to connect your PS4 controller wirelessly to your desktop or laptop is quite easy. So you want to make sure you have Bluetooth enabled and you want to have Steam downloaded. Now the primary way we're going to be able to use the Steam controller on your PC is by launching games via Steam. So first off, head over to your Bluetooth settings. You can access that down on the Windows tab and just type in Bluetooth and it something should come up with Bluetooth and other devices. Once you're here, you want to go ahead on your physical PS4 controller and press the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time. Once you've done this, the PlayStation controller should start flashing rapidly at the back of the controller. Now go ahead and click add device and click Bluetooth on the first option right here. And you should have an option for wireless controller. That should be the controller that you're trying to pair. Go ahead and click on it and it should connect up. Once you're all ready to go, you can just confirm that the controller is connected down here as it will say connected. All right, so I just had to pause the recording at the be right back. But basically, once you've got it all connected up, it should just say here that it's connected and the controller light at the back of it should be a solid color. On top of that, if you're having issues with connecting your PS4 controller, for example, you're connecting it up and you're having the issue of your PC saying that it is connected, but the controller is still flashing, it lights at the back, that could mean that the controller hasn't got enough power, so I'm not sure what the complication is there, but if you go ahead and charge the controller up, you should be able to connect it up later on. Just remember to press remove device later on and try and reconnect the controller as you did before. So to actually use the controller uh, on Steam at least, you want to right click Steam and click on settings. Once you're here, you want to go over to general controller settings. And once you've clicked on that, you want to, you want to click on PlayStation configuration support, Xbox configuration support, uh, if you want to Xbox extended feature uh, up to you guys uh, it will give you some more features to go on if you want to use it besides Steam you can click on Switch Pro configuration support as well if you want to but that's okay uh, not for this one and just generic gameplay configuration support so once you've got those all ticked you should be able to use it in other applications as well one of the other things that you can do here is that you can click on detected controllers and you can actually click your preferences. So you can change the color on the back of the controller and mine is currently changing to a darker blue. You can also change the name of this controller and once you've done that you can just click submit here. And one of the other cool things is you can calibrate the controller right over here and you can also click identify and that should set off the rumble in the controller. So you've got it all connected up now and we can test it out in a game. So I'm going to test it out in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. A wee bit laggy just because it's being recorded on the same PC. But yeah. Yeah, it's all working out nicely. And it's all wireless. There's no nothing connected here. Let's go fight someone real quick. Let's fight someone too. Alright, so let's give a quick pause there because I haven't played the game in like months, so don't judge my skill. I've been playing a lot of Ghost of Tsushima recently. If you guys want a tutorial on how to set up the PS2 emulator as well, I'll be more than happy to do that. Um, it's pretty easy and it gets your PS2 games running pretty well on a really good computer. I mean, any computer can really run this emulator now, it's not that hard in any case. So I'm just going to skip through everything. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial today. Make sure you check out wisetech.org for the latest post reviews and much more. I'll see you guys there at wisetech.org. Other than that, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.